You are now listening to The Forefront Radio, where we discuss history, the Bible, the history of the Israelites, science, and other matters. Bring it out. The history of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans as it relates to the Bible. Who were you prior to slavery? Who were you prior to colonization? These answers and more can be seen and heard as you listen to The Forefront Radio. Thank you for tuning in to the Forefront Radio. I'm your host, Afio Levi Israel. Now, if you're interested in helping us promote our brand, please feel free to donate to our cash app. Our cash app is uh, dollar sign Afiel Levi. That's A-P-H-I-E-L-L-E-V-I. And that'll go directly to the Forefront Radio so we can produce more incredible shows for you to listen to. Now, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There are creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download this free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Thank you. We have to understand something. How can you talk about freedom and justice for all when you were brought under the banner of servitude? How can you talk about freedom and justice for all when you were brought in shackles and chains with yokes about your neck? The Bible says that the children of Israel would be scattered into all nations under the banner of slavery. This was a global slave trade. Luke chapter 21 verse 21 through 24 says you're going to fall by the edge of the sword and you're going to be led away captive into all nations. So the question for the critical thinker is this. Who did that happen to? Did that happen to the Chinese? No. Did that happen to the Arab? No. Did that happen to the European? No. Did that happen to the people that call themselves Jewish? No. What race of mankind on the earth was taken into captivity into all nations? You think this global slave trade would be not documented in the greatest history book known to mankind? You're looking at the Bible and you don't realize that it's talking about you. Yes, you. The people that are impacted by slavery and colonialism. The people that were taken to America, taken to the Caribbean islands, taken to France, Portugal, taken to Spain as slaves. The Bible says that the the gospel, the gospel of the Jesus Christ that we know of is a black man that came to set liberty to the captives. That's Isaiah 61, verse 1. Who needs saving? Who needs liberty? Does the French need liberty? Does America need liberty? Who is oppressed? Who is getting brutalized in the streets? Who is getting gunned down when you know, categorically and statistically, they committed no crime? You're being persecuted over a traffic violation. You're being murdered and slaughtered. Ask Sandra Bland, was she free? Ask Trayvon Martin, was he free? Ask George Floyd. A lot of people talk about that they're woke. You're fake woke. The scripture says, awake to righteousness and sin not. Awake to righteousness, awake to who you are. Who were you prior to slavery? Who were you prior to colonization? These answers and more can be seen as we listen to the Forefront Radio, where you will find out the truth in regards to your true nationality. Yes, when you read about the Bible, when it says, my skin is black, it's talking about you. When you read Song of Solomon, when it says, look not upon me because I am black, it's talking about you. When it comes to the greatest man that walked on the face of the earth, Jesus the Christ died a black man's death, died through crucifixion, lynched on a tree, hair like wool, feet like brass burned in a furnace. Who could this be talking about? This is talking about you, your people, the lost tribes of Israel.
You were listening to the Forefront Radio. Thanks for listening in. We're going to tune to Second uh, Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7 and verse 8. It says, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. For this cause, God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie. So according to the scriptures, we are going to reveal to you who the wicked is, according to the Bible, their system of governance, and how they operate in this world. The next scripture we're going to look at is Job chapter 9, verse 24. It says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So who's that? whoever is controlling the earth right now, that's who the wicked is according to the Bible. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So if it's not those that are in power today, who is he? Who's controlling the Vatican? Who's controlling the United States of America? Who's controlling Europe? Who's controlling the United Nations? According to the Bible, that is the wicked. Now let's check out this history real quick. In this episode of Legacy of the Wicked, we get into a little known situation that occurred when a African-American man, an Israelite man who was homeless and suffering from schizophrenia was assassinated by militarized public service servicemen, AKA police. In this episode, you're going to not only hear the uh, news story, but we're also going to read some of the comments made by people that, <coughs> excuse me, made by people that hear of this atrocity. Judge refusing to give qualified immunity to four Phoenix police officers accused of excessive force in the death of Mohammed Mohammed. The man who has, was homeless and had schizophrenia died during a 2017 arrest. ABC 15 investigator Melissa Blasius has been combing through newly unsealed court records for two days now. Stop Stop moving. Shut up. Muhammad Muhammad yelled from underneath the officers that he couldn't breathe three times. You can hear it on the officers' body cams, but no one helped. In fact, Phoenix officer Oswald Grenier can clearly be seen kneeling with body weight directly on Muhammad's neck for an extended period of time. That's according to federal judge Susan Brnovich in this order on summary judgment that ABC 15 obtained Thursday. In the ruling from August, the judge refused to throw out the excessive force lawsuit against four officers involved in Muhammad's arrest. They watched the 43-year-old father die. She concluded officers Oswald Grenier, Jason Hobble, Ronaldo Canaleo, and Dennis LaRoe would not be eligible for qualified immunity protections. Muhammad, who was homeless and mentally ill, tried to take his dog to a public restroom. Officers were called in, and they arrested him for an old misdemeanor warrant. The judge wrote, there was no evidence officers feared Muhammad would harm them. Still, the officers are accused of forcing the man's handcuffed hands from his back over his head to the front. That painful scenario... Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. He's handcuffed by his arms around his back, and they pull his arm upward... They were trying to rip this man's arms off of his soul, off of his shoulders. This is torture. This man was tortured before they killed him. This man was tortured by public employees. Here is what the American public doesn't understand. There's a thing in the Bible called you reap 
what you sow. There's a thing in the Bible called reaping what you sow. If you sow torture and death to innocent, homeless, mentally ill people that need medical attention, then people in their right minds that go crazy might in turn start to do things that are incomprehensible. The Bible says, surely oppression will make a wise man mad. A wise man will take this information, relay it to the people, and say, what solutions can we bring forth to help our people, to help those that are oppressed? You have two options. You either continue and fight, or you follow what God says and leave Babylon for good. Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins and that you receive not of her plagues. I'm going to make it my mission to prove to you who the wicked is. You're listening to a news reporter tell you that within the United States, they torture their own citizens. Imagine your daughter being handcuffed and having her arms ripped out of her socket. Imagine your son having someone press their knee on their cervical cords and causing them as a result to pass away. This is what black people have to deal with on a continual basis. But many refuse to hear their pleas. Many refuse to hear their cries. Guess what? God hears their cries. Just like he heard Abel, just like he heard all the prophets and the people as a result of disregarding what their governments and leaders were doing ended up being punished severely. Ask Egypt what happened to them when they oppressed the Israelites. Ask Assyria. What happened to them when they oppressed the Israelites? Ask Babylon. Ask Persia. Ask the Greeks. Ask the Romans. No kingdom on this earth lasts forever. No empire on this earth lasts forever. So every subsequent kingdom that has done evil to our people, you will reap what you sow. Let's listen on. Area would be an obvious instance of constitutional misconduct, the judge wrote. She also wrote, applying weight to Mahiman's neck area while he was in the prone position could constitute excessive force. The federal lawsuit will never go to trial last month. So in the medical field, you have two positions, supine and prone, okay? This man was in a prone position and he was not able to move. He was handcuffed. And this is similar to how when a lion attacks a gazelle, how does the lion attack a gazelle? Not through scratching them, but through suffocation, cutting off circulation to the neck. That's what happened. That's what happened. Read the book of Psalms chapter 10, and you'll get an idea of how these people lurk in the innocent places, 
to murder the innocent. This man was a innocent man. This man was a homeless man suffering from mental problems. Isn't that how they usually try to get off on crimes, right? When when a police officer does something, they say, oh, he, he must have some sort of mental disorder. Or when a white supremacist goes and kills a whole bunch of people, oh, he must have had some sort of mental illness. No, this is the mindset of Eurocentric European extremism. You have to call it out. We're going to say the paper is white, y'all. We're going to expose the Krabby Patty, y'all. We're going to expose the raw chicken, y'all. I don't eat saltines. I don't eat Pringles. I stay away from those that persecute the poor. I don't deal with them. I don't invite them to a cookout. I don't barbecue with them. I don't hug them. I call it what it is. You are not my friend. Friends don't handcuff friends and torture them. Friends don't enslave your ancestors. Friends don't go to a judge and say, oh, you know, we didn't do anything wrong. We were just trying to do our jobs. Oh yeah, he kind of died in the process, but you know, this is justice. That's what, that's not justice. You have to be pathologically, innately, mentally ill to murder innocent people and think you'll get away with it. It's not going to happen. You will reap what you sow. Before these records were unsealed, the city agreed to pay the Muhyman family $5 million. But the city did not admit fault, and the officers were not disciplined, and they were never criminally charged. But as the Department of Justice continues its civil rights investigation into Phoenix police, the feds are focusing on how Phoenix officers use force and their treatment of residents who are people of color, homeless, or mentally ill. I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona. So let's examine some of the comments made by commenters on this event. First comment, this happened in 2017, but we find out in 2022, hmm, connection to cover up, question mark, question mark, question mark. Next comment, you know, the people who sealed these records did so knowingly. Next comment, when police are not held accountable, the taxpayers are. That's the truth, folks. The captain, police union, governor, prosecutor, protect their dogs. Make them carry private insurance and end the unions. Gratefully, this was exposed by the news station. Next statement. Good for the judge. It's about time such dirty, rotten cops start being held accountable for their police brutality. Here's another comment. Too many cops like this are looking for any flimsy excuse to kill their victims. The, Fen the Phoenix Police Department should be considered a deadly threat to the community, in my opinion. Here's another comment. No fault, no charge. This is one of the biggest problems in policing. The police should never be allowed to police themselves. This has been a repeated problem throughout the history of policing. Here's another comment. Someone help me understand. If they were not entitled to qualified immunity, why were they not charged with murder? Here's another comment. Every one of these videos needs to go viral. 
I've been seeing so many videos like this not getting the attention they deserve. Here's another comment. According to the FBI stats, crime has been going down since the 90s, but police brutality is going up. I want to comment on that. This is showing you that with the increase of wickedness happening on the earth, the increase of violence is going on. Today, they say the violence is just like the days of Noah, where citizens are prone to doing acts of violence. Ask all the white supremacists. Majority, I'm not saying that all domestic terrorists are white supremacists. What I am saying is the majority of domestic terrorists are white supremacists. <laughs> These individuals go and kill, like, think about it. The Christchurch massacre, right? Dude kills a whole bunch of people. The Oklahoma City bombing. Waco. The individual that went in Las Vegas and killed 75 people. The individual that went into, uh, in Buffalo, New York, and killed 10 people. And he wrote on his assault rifle, here's your reparations. This is the legacy of the wicked. Here's another comment. I'm beginning to fear our police in an unnatural way. Every week, another incident of brutality. Shake my head. Here's another comment. Police brutality has to stop. Now hold the police officers themselves need to be legally sued. Here's another comment. The officers kneeled on a handcuffed man's neck until he died, but were not criminally charged? So how is this case that different from the George Floyd case? The inconsistency in the justice system in this country is mind-boggling. Here's another comment. The cops should be in jail. Here's another comment. There will always be an excuse in the eyes of the tyrant defending crowd. Here's another comment. We need more honest judges like this. No more immunity. Here's another comment. When are they going to take these settlements directly from the police departments and officers, not taxpayers? It's why police brutality continues. One of two things needs to happen to these thugs, and we must understand and respect financially that we are being held responsible. The other is that what they practice is essentially violence. Folks, this is the Legacy of the Wicked series, another case of police brutality against individuals that are innocent. We hope and pray that the people listening to this series like and share this comment and really get down into listening to this series because there's a pathology within the wicked that we must expose. Thank you for listening. Peace and blessings to the 12 tribes of promise. Tune in to the Forefront Radio www.anchor.fm slash the forefront. Listen every week on Spotify, on iHeartRadio, and many other platforms. Hey, my friend, you have just listened to the Forefront Radio. Please leave your comment and input about the show, what you like about the show, as well as any general feedback on ways to improve. We need your help to acquire new equipment to implement studio quality video and audio to our friends. Contribute as little as 
$4.99. It's only worth a cup of coffee. Musical then we can produce documentaries, more episodes, and great info for the diaspora. Go to Cash App and enter A-P-H-I-E-L-L-E-V-I to donate to the Forefront Radio to cover our advertising costs and reach more people. Catch our next episode on YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, anchor.fm slash the forefront. Always remember, the truth shall liberate the mind. Peace to the heirs of promise and the heritage of the scattered 12 tribes. Hey, my friend, you have just listened to the Forefront Radio. Please leave your comment and input about the show, what you like about the show, as well as any general feedback on ways to improve. We need your help to acquire new equipment to implement studio quality video and audio to our friends. Contribute as little as $4.99. It's only worth a cup of coffee. Then we can produce documentaries, more episodes, and great info for the diaspora. Go to Cash App and enter A-P-H-I-E-L-L-E-V-I to donate to the Forefront Radio to cover our advertising costs and reach more people. Catch our next episode on YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, anchor.fm slash the forefront. Always remember, the truth shall liberate the mind. Peace to the heirs of promise and the heritage of the scattered 12 tribes.